Turning now to Newton Falls, where this year the city put up a fence next to the municipal building that costs nearly $10,000. The man who lives next door says the fence is infringing on his First Amendment rights. The city says they want to beautify the grounds for senior citizens who use the building daily. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin spoke with both parties in our top story at 11. Former city councilman Adam Zimmerman tells me he's lived in the same house for 17 years. It just happens to be next to the Newton Falls Municipal Building. Last November, he started posting signs criticizing city leadership. He says a new fence the city installed this year is meant to cover his signs and infringe on his First Amendment rights. But the city manager who had it installed disagrees. They ripped down a perfectly good chain link fence and installed this fence to just kind of hide the signs that we have. City manager Pamela Pretty says seniors with scope who use the municipal building complained about Zimmerman's property. There were a number of different uh, seniors that had come up and were complaining about the signs being there, um, the barking dog, the laundry. Zimmerman shared these photos of the old chain link fence and his signs. He was sent a letter stating his signs were in violation of a city ordinance and needed to be removed. I argued that. I uh, won that case against the zone, uh, Planning and Zoning Commission. The city put landscape fabric over the chain link fence, but Zimmerman tells me it only lasted one day because of the wind. Next came the privacy fence, which Pretty says she paid for by taking a lesser salary. I was asked to, you know, volunteer my time for like a 30 to 60 day period, and it ended up being 10 months. Zimmerman filed a public records request for payroll deductions or other files that show Pretty is paying for the fence. He was told no such records exist. The lowest paid supervisor in the entire city, um, you know, everyone else is, you know, 72 plus, you know, 72,000 plus, and I'm at 60. Wasn't sure at the time how much the fence was going to cost. Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27, First News.